We first met Erwin by his appearing at an open triad. There was no introduction of any kind, he just cold turkeyed up. I'd done quite a bit of recruiting and we had come from a very lean time in terms of results and uh, so he just walked onto the field with a lot of other players who I knew about and uh, immediately fit right in. Irvin was born in Rome. His parents were in the process of immigrating from Russia to Canada and arrived with a new baby who became Irvin Student, the, the soccer player and the person that you know now. It was, it's very appropriate in fact that he has that beginning to his life because he came and arrived at a team that was very cosmopolitan and very international in character and in flavor and in personality. And amongst all those personalities, he was one that shone as bright as any. His best ability on the field, I think, was his ability to read the game. And from that, he was able to use his very powerful and accurate left leg to spray passes and shots at net. Very much a thinking man's player. Uh, and so for those of us who were more emotional, he was a counterbalance and a very important part of the team because of that. I remember Irvin scoring a goal against the University of Toronto in a very important game. And uh, in his mind, I'm sure it's the best goal he's ever scored too because of the distance uh, that he scored it from uh, on a volley against the University of Toronto in a big game. Irvin had many awards individually. Among those were three Ontario all-star OUA teams and the CIAU as was then Canadian all-star team once. Very, very important contribution to the teams. He became a Rhodes Scholar and went to England and studied in England, uh, eventually graduating from the London School of Economics. Uh, since then he has worked in the Privy Council of Canada and he's also done the equivalent work in Australia. Among his other achievements after graduating from university was to become the managing editor of Global Briefs, a prominent think tank magazine. Irvin is currently the director of a program at the University of Toronto, although on sabbatical in the University of Singapore, where he's a visiting senior fellow for the year. Uh, he also had other appointments overseas um, and is certainly one who has gone well beyond his time here at York in terms of both his formal education and his development as a person. I'd like to offer my fullest congratulations, Irvin, to an honor very well earned. It's a privilege, in fact, to still know you and to connect with you on a regular basis, and I hope to be able to do that for a long time still to come. Best wishes also to your family and to your children and to your wife. Thanks, Irvin, for all the time you've given to York University. Irvin, I am one of your most fervent admirers. Your personality, your strength of character, and your achievements, particularly this crowning one at York University, is worthy of the champion that you are. And I wish you every best wish for the future.